talking with us today. Really appreciate you. Now, you guys are both alumni of Ford. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so. 1983, is that right? Yes. Okay. 1983, yes. So. 1983. Now, and you guys met here. Uh, yes, we did. Yeah, we were, uh, I'm a biology major, my wife's a chemistry major, and uh, we had to take some classes together. Uh, general chemistry was one of those. And, uh, you know, we, we took the class together, and uh, I was a, uh, a student who really was concerned about my performance in chemistry. So I looked for the top performing student in the class, and it happened to be my wife. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, well, I'm going to keep up with her. I'm, not, you know, I'm just going to kind of look at her grades, what she got on the exam. And so unknowns to her, you know, I was really uh, working hard, burning the midnight oil, trying to work to get a good grade. And I would get a nice grade at the end of the exam. I'd get maybe a 90 or something like that. I think, all right, I got a good grade. And I look at her score and she's got a 94, maybe 96. And I was like, oh, man, you know, yeah. next time I'm going to try harder. And I put in double the effort and Still, you know, well, not not better than her. He came up with a 99 <laughs> once, and he, I, but he, I thought he sat next to me because he liked me. I didn't know. <laughs> he was looking at my test scores. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we were looking. We got married my, my, our last year at Fort Lewis, and uh, we we didn't know what our future was. You know, we, we, I always wanted to go to graduate school. We both wanted to go to graduate school. She wanted to go to a PharmD program, and I wanted to go to uh, a doctoral program somewhere. And, and, uh, and the opportunity came for her me to go to a PhD program at Berkeley. And, and so we went there with that uh, commitment to succeed, but you know, having come with the tools that Fort Lewis brought, uh, brought in to help us have in us. And, uh, and so with that kind of confidence, I mean, you know, we made our way in the world and uh, always knowing that, uh, you know, we have the legacy of professors from Fort Lewis. So what, what brought both of you to Fort Lewis? Why, why Fort Lewis as opposed to different schools? Well, uh, for me, uh, I, I uh, began college uh, at uh, Navajo Community College, which is a tribal college down in Shiprock. You know, I, I wanted to go somewhere where I could get a bachelor's degree. I couldn't do that at Diné College. And Fort Lewis was uh, close home, you know, 100 miles away. Uh, but the other thing, it was a very well-established college. Degree, and the, the free tuition for American Indians really made it uh, a possibility for me to come to college here because I didn't have the resources, you know, my family weren't well uh, financially, they didn't have a lot of money. Uh, but I was able to make the uh, ability for, you know, um, paying for college with uh, livestock. You know, we had sheep, cattle, and I sold them every, we sold them every October, so uh, we'd have a lot of money in October, and, uh, and that was the money that I used to pay for my education. I thought I was going to be a high school biology teacher. <laughs> so um, so started at Fort Lewis and then uh, discovered when I started taking chemistry that I really enjoyed the chemistry. And uh, so I kept, I was in the process of finding myself, you know, going to school, which I think is a lot of what happens to, you know, kids. It really not only got, gave me a chance to discover parts of my brain, but also use parts of my brain. <laughs> and it gave me skills. Um, but and even though, you know, I went on to, um, with chemistry and then I went on to pharmacy school, um, I've carried through the perspective of that, that foundation. And like now I'm on the ethics committee at my hospital and I'm on the urgent ethics consult team. So when there's an ethical dilemma and, and things are really seriously mm -hmm. and it needs to be looked at now, I'm one of the people who gets to show up and, and help contribute thinking to the situation. And you know, this comes from my liberal arts education. Yeah, you know, there, there are uh, a lot of good teachers that uh, I had uh, here. I mean, um, these were the people that challenged me, you know. They all had their different strengths. And uh, I came here to be a science major, you know, and I came here to be, to learn to do research because I had experienced it before and I wanted a higher level training of research. And these faculty uh, provided that opportunity for me in the labs that we had here, you know. The professor's challenging me. I mean, uh, Al Spencer in particular, I think. I mean, anybody who took biology back then knows how tough his class was, his genetics class. Uh, those classes at Berkeley were hard, uh, but what made me feel like I can be successful and do this work was because I passed Al Spencer's <laughs> genetics class here. Yeah. Because I said, I put my hard work into that class and I got through it. So, so, you know, we're, we're, we, we speak very highly of Fort Lewis when we're out there uh, amongst uh, students about, uh, 
you know, people think Fort Lewis is a school for skiing and, you know, mountaineering and it's all the activities that they can do. But you, you have a quality education because of faculty coming from Stanford and, you know, uh, Rutgers and other places like that, Wisconsin. I mean, UCLA. you know, UCLA. I mean, these are USC and places like that. These are, you know, top schools that know what uh, science is about. For, you know, I, I'm talking about Spanish science because that's my, my, my field. But I know the reputation of these schools and uh, they train the best uh, scientific minds out there and, uh, and they're here. And, uh, Mark Coburn um, was a big influence for my writing. Uh -huh. um, Shayla had sent me over to him with something I'd written for her advanced composition and he went through my work with me and he, in detail and, and really helped me see how you refine your writing. Yeah. And I used that template where, you know, where I still had what he, what he had for me for years. I would go back to that. And, uh, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be reading about Socrates and Plato um, on my own, but coming here, I was exposed to the philosophy and the philosophers. And I used some of that logic, some of that uh, philosophy, uh, the way of teaching, like the Socratic way of teaching. And, uh, and I try to, you know, apply that in the work that I do, but I got it from here, you know, I learned about it here, and uh, uh, if we didn't have the liberal arts way of learning uh, from Fort Lewis, I mean, I don't think I would have ever had uh, these courses to, to build on. Sure. <laughs> when I was here at uh, Fort Lewis College, uh, one of the things that I remember that was so good about uh, the college was that we had a Native American center here, and uh, that was a home away from home. Uh, they definitely had a big impact on my success here. I mean, uh, just the ability that of having a, a place that I could go to, to when I was on campus to sit around and, and visit with other American Indians. That was another uh, thing. I got to see other tribes uh, that the college had and learn from them because, you know, we, we're not all the same. Uh, students coming from as far away as uh, Washington State, you know, uh, representing the Lingit tribe, for example. There was a couple of people from that uh, tribe here. I mean, I got to learn a, bit, a little bit about their culture and so, you know, tell them about mine. And, uh, and so that was very, uh, very interesting to me to know what, how other tribes think and what's going on in their world. Well, Tina and Wilfred, thank you so much okay. for coming in and talking <laughs> with us today. Really appreciate it. It was just fascinating talking to you both. And best of luck as you go forward in your careers. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we can... Products of FLC, very proud of it. Well, we're, yeah. We're very proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you.